Hello everyone. Union budget was presented on 1st Feb 2024. This is for fiscal year starting 1st April 2024 to 31st March 2025. This year also happens to be the year in which elections for the central government would be held in April May 2024. The incumbent government would be in power for only 2 months of the new fiscal year. Therefore, a precedent has been set in the past that outgoing government's budget will not make any substantial policy decision but only present a vote on account. Adhering to the past tradition, this year's budget did not make any substantial policy decision. However, there were still enough provisions to showcase the government's priorities. The three key elements of this year's budget were number 1, walking the talk on fiscal consolidation and maintain fiscal discipline. Number 2, continued focus on domestic manufacturing and infrastructure capex. And number 3, focus on inclusive development, green energy and R&D. Let us look at them one by one. Walking the talk on fiscal consolidation. In the budget, government announced a fiscal consolidation of 70 basis point during fiscal year 25. The central government's fiscal deficit has been pegged at 5.1% of GDP versus 5.8% of GDP for FY24 revised estimates. Considering domestic economic activity remains largely resilient, the pursuit of counter-cyclical fiscal policy could help strengthen India's macroeconomic stability and create a foundation for long-term to medium-term growth. Revenue numbers seems reasonable and they imply a nominal GDP growth rate of only 12.5% for fiscal year 25. For fiscal year 24, the GDP growth number was 8.9%. Expenditure is being driven through CAPEX. Revenue to CAPEX expenditure has fallen further. Subsidy expenditure is lower than last year's actuals. Thus, quality of fiscal deficit has also improved. Lower government fiscal deficit will help remove any further pressure on interest rates and supporting the recovering private capex and housing cycle in India. Lower and credible fiscal deficit is laying the foundation for a strong medium to long term growth. Number two, continued focus on domestic manufacturing and infrastructure capex. Fiscal year 25 capex is split primarily amongst roads, railways, defense, and power. Let us look at the data one by one. Road capex for fiscal 25 budget estimate is higher by 3% versus fiscal 24 revised estimates. Railways capex for fiscal year 25 is higher by 5% versus fiscal 24. And metro rail capex for fiscal year 25 budget estimate is higher by 8%. Defense capex for FY25 is also higher by 8% as compared to fiscal 24 revised edition. There is a focus on becoming net zero by 2070. Capital investment to the tune of rupees 943 billion has been envisaged. Offshore wind energy and rooftop solarization being promoted by providing budgetary support for initial capacity of 1 gigawatt wind energy and rupees 46 billion for rooftop solarization. Commitment to infrastructure capex augurs well for overall and sustainable growth. Third and the final point. Focus on inclusive development, green energy, and R&D. Government has resisted the urge of turning populist ahead of the 2024 national elections. However, allocation to areas like rural housing, rural roads, and irrigation will see a healthy double-digit growth over fiscal 24 revises. Allocation to health has also been increased by 11%. In line with its long-term net zero objectives, government has continued to strengthen its commitment to renewable energy, EVs, and battery initiatives through production-linked initiatives or as we also call PLI. However, allocation to fame scheme for EVs has been reduced. 
government has allocated rupees 740 billion for supporting r&d development by the private sector through long term interest free loans in conclusion it is a budget committed to raising the medium to long term growth through fiscal consolidation improving the quality of deficit reiterating capex focus sunning populism building the buffer for sustainable economic expansion and focusing on new energy and manufacturing thank you